you ever been in a crowd and all of a sudden you realize you need a safety pin or some hand lotion or you need aspirin because you're not feeling good and you're like i you know i don't feel good you say that in in front of the crowd and, and some woman in the crowd pipes up and goes oh i have it in my purse that's where this video has been born from is from my husband and my kids always going mom i need this or mom i need that and i would always make sure that it was in my purse yeah i'm that lady that has the emergency purse makeup kit i'm going to show you what's in here this is something that i carry around have done for years and you're going to get to see what's inside this little goodie bag for emergencies not just makeup emergencies all kinds of emergencies we're going to get into that right now So yes, about every two or three videos, little man thinks he has to get up here on my new chair with me and see what I'm doing. Today he tried to jump and there's a bunch of makeup on my lap and he just went backwards and he looked at me like, what was that for? Like I had done it. So yeah, he's okay right now, but he's a little bit, um, mom, that wasn't very nice. So Ollie says hi for today. All right, friends, let's get into what I have in this fun little bag. This was, like I said, born of my husband going, what don't you have in there, woman? And I just thought, you know, this might make a really good video. First of all, the bag itself is from Huda Beauty. I got it quite a while ago. It had a few things in it I that I wanted and it just came with it. So that was just kind of the bonus that came with it. I like that it is just a little bit deeper. I would say that it's maybe two, two and a half inches deep. And I like that you can completely open it instead of having the pocket like that with, you know, regular makeup kits or whatever that you throw in the bottom of your purse. I like that. And I like that it's see-through and I like that when you open it up, you can kind of see everything, including what's at the the bottom so that's actually why i keep it in my purse it's just very handy and it's nice to be able to have all my stuff instead of transferring it all and it just you know rotating in the bottom of a, a handbag or whatever so what is in here is a lot of stuff and you're probably going to be a little bit surprised this is more like what's in my purse type video but i'm going to go through everything i probably will just have to go from the top down because it's all kind of in there in a specific way but I carry, like I said at the beginning, you, the lady that always has aspirin, I actually carry a, an assortment of pills in here, like Advil and Tylenol, and I have I have anxiety, so I have my anxiety pills in here. I have gastric bypass, as some of you know, so I do have my stomach pills in here. I also have Benadryl in case somebody gets stung by a bee. I also have decongested in case somebody's having allergies. I actually have allergy pills in here too. So I carry a bunch of pills in here, and my family always knows that if something happens, mom's got the pills she's got the drugs so <laughs> that didn't sound right okay and then you guys i just barely showed you the can make powder in lavender this is a can make powder that i actually keep with me in my purse for like if i get really sweaty i get break apart or something like that or touch-ups this one i cannot tell you what color it is it, i think it says oa2 i don't know what color that is but i'll look it up i will list and link everything below i like this for a couple of reasons it's a really soft nice powder but the reason that it's in here is to specifically touch up when I sweat or when I have a hot flash and it's so good for taking down a shine and especially right there in those areas. I don't use a lot of powder, but when you need powder, you have to have powder. So this is a nice one to have in my purse because it's not too expensive. Again, just taking straight off the top. These are the two brushes that I keep in there and these are, one of them is a BK Beauty brush. Can you hear my little boy's squeaky toy? 107 and the other one is a powder brush from absolute beauty i really like both of these this one i use for you know powder blush whatever you want to and then this one i use i will pinch and i sometimes will you know just swipe across my lid if i want a little color there or you know to do a little bit of to do a little bit of highlight or you know a little bit of contour or whatever you want to do so i do keep those two in there and then i keep two other brushes in here this one is from sigma it came in a palette and one side is just a fluffy blending brush the other side is like a paddle brush to pack stuff on and then this one was from luxie beauty quite a while ago i don't know if they make this or not this was actually a nose contour palette or palette brush and it doesn't say anything on it I just know that I got it because I wanted to try nose contour and then I figured out that 
I don't look good with nose contour. So it works really good in my purse. This is a great liner brush. It's thinner on that side. And then this one is a little bit fluffier angle for the corners if you need it of your eyeshadow. So I carry four brushes and those are them. I carry hand sanitizer which I think everybody should. I did this way before ever we ever had COVID, but I think everybody really should carry hand sanitizer. Oh, I also want to show you, I have these little puffs that come in a set of four, I think. Anyway, there's bigger ones, but this nice little one, I also use this to pick up any sort of extra makeup that's gone on, or if I've had to get crease, or if I've had creasing underneath my eyes, it's great to just pick up excess without disturbing the makeup because the puff is is a little bit easier than your finger that might pick up the makeup so i love having the puff in there as well i also oh my goodness this is one of my favorite products i know i've talked about it before but this is from derma e and this is their sun protection mineral powder spf 30 and i just use this during the day i love this stuff it comes out you can see the little white right there it comes out that way it just dispenses through like it's got a little tunnel right there in the bottom and it just dispenses through and you can put extra um, sun protection on during the day this is a great way to not disturb your makeup again Again, but get that extra SPF on it is so good. I love this stuff And then when you're done you can just pull that up Which is nice because then you still have your brushes really nice and they're not getting squished on the cap or anything like that So that is a really good product and I like the way that they did the delivery system I also have some perfume from Viva La Juicy, Juicy Couture. I love their fragrances The one was the bubble one bubbly or something like that love these they're so good and then the other one is just the original and i really always have to have perfume because i love to have happy smells all right so i also have a pen i actually probably have like three pens in here nope i actually only have one i also always have a pen you never know when you're going to need a pen and then i have this little cloth that i clean my glasses with it's just a little microfiber cloth that i keep in there that i clean with them with it gets them so nice and i just love that about it i have have some lotion this one I think is from Crabtree and Evelyn or maybe it's from Perlier I don't know it's just one that came to me with some other stuff and it's a really good one so I threw it in there um, to use it up and, and I have my lip products these are ones that I absolutely love this one is from Clinique and it is an automatic liner and of course I don't know the name of it I know the name of the other one though this one is tiramisu the butter gloss from NYX these two go so good together I just really like the way that they look together the butter gloss from NYX it really does just mix with just this color tiramisu mixes with just about any liner that you want to do it's, it's a very neutral tone and i love to mix it with things now the clinique one is called figgy so that is the colors that i like to have this just goes with just about anything and so those are the colors that i keep in my purse and then i keep a little teeny tiny bottle of nail polish why do i keep nail polish in there besides helping you i actually always keep in here a nail file as well i love these ones from revlon i've been buying them for years but sometimes when you have a nice manicure you've done your nails and you get a nick in your nails or you know one breaks that can ruin the whole entire manicure you have to go you just can be a deal so i will just you know go ahead and just knock it down a little bit with my file and then i'll just touch it up with this until i can get home and touch it up with the color so this is really nice to have the other thing that i do with this when i wear pantyhose not like i'm wearing pantyhose anywhere because there's nowhere really nice to go but it'll stop a run in your pantyhose in a sock if you have a you know a nylon sock on or something like that for me this is kind of a must and it's not very big it's teeny tiny so it doesn't take up a lot of room in that purse and then i have a pair of scissors i keep these little fisker scissors in there just in case of emergency and let's see okay let me finish with what i have for makeup really quick I keep this little uh, mini size of the Maison Snail Repair Intensive BB Cream. I don't know why I'm stuttering so much today, but I am. I use this for my touch-ups of my makeup, my foundation, but I also use it for a concealer. I really love it. And then the e.l.f. Wow Brow. I have these in like three or four places, really, but it's because I love this stuff, but it also is because it is inexpensive, and I love that little bristle brush right there. So good. And 
it can completely do my eyebrows and I can even, you know, fake paints a little bit in with that. And I like that. Okay. So that's pretty much it for makeup. But then I have these clips that I keep in there. This is all the rest is pretty much hair stuff. That's not true. I'll show you the other stuff in just a minute. Keep my little clippies in there. I have little clippies for little hair, whether it's in the front or in the back. I keep those in there. I also keep an Invisibobble in there. These are great for gripping onto your hair and you know not showing anything i also keep one of these for your hair as well but the reason that i have this more than anything is not for hair it's for shirts because you know how everybody's kind of wearing their shirts tied up you can put that on the inside of your shirt like this and then tie it up a bunch and then you'll have a gather right there which is really cool because everybody's wearing those but i that's why i have that one in there I also have a spare because my daughter's always asking me if I have a hair clippy. I also have a ton of bobby pins. I keep a ton of bobby pins in there. Don't ask me why, just in case you need an updo. And then I also keep a pair of tweezers have to have tweezers for the random rogue hair on the chin. I keep a pair of clippers just in case hubby needs those because I'm not big on clipping my nails, but boy, he needs it sometimes. I keep a couple different sizes of safety pins. Um, I actually am out of my smaller ones right now because they got used up, but I do keep safety pins in here for sure. And then at the bottom, I keep all of this stuff. And this is kind of my first aid stuff. This is a little piece of Coban. This little size of Coban is really good if you you have to, you know, use them as a tourniquet, which God forbid we should ever get in an accident and something happened, but it's really good. And it's also really good if you get a cut and you can't, you know, cover the cut with a Band-Aid. That's why I also have a couple of these size of gauze pads in there that I keep in there and then I just cover it with the Coban. And then these are, of course, Band-Aids and then some alcohol wipes because you never know. Now, I will tell you something else that I do keep in here normally and I, I squeeze them down really small and put them in a really small small little tiny baggie and put them in here is I do I put in a pair of gloves or vinyl gloves in case you know I don't know you need to sometime help somebody out and they might be bleeding and you don't want to you know touch the blood so or you want to keep them sterile from you or whatever so that's everything that i keep in there I, can't, I bet you can't believe that i put all that stuff in there but it was born out of necessity and the hopes that i could do makeup touch-ups yes but as i was a mom for all those years now you know my kids are gone but my husband is just as accident prone as my kids were so i find myself using this stuff all the time too but also for touch-ups with makeup i do want to show you one last product that i just recently updated i had an older palette from tarte i love these round palettes to put in your purse so this is one that is part of the emergency makeup but this one they came out with i don't know maybe three or four months ago and i love this one it's so nice the mirror's really nice in it you get um one two you get six different eyeshadows i love the colors of them they're kind of like mauves and pinks in there and then you get a big highlighter you get the bronzer and you get a pretty pretty blush that's pretty universal for everybody i really like having this it's all all kinds of touch-ups or if you're on the move and you need to do your makeup and you don't have your makeup actually with you so yeah it doesn't fit in there but it definitely is part of my emergency makeup kit that is all of this stuff. Tell me in the comment section what you keep in your emergency makeup kit, not just specifically for makeup, but maybe there's other things that you keep in there. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I love you guys very much, and I'll catch you all in my very next video. Bye, my friends. <laughs>